and she's like oh my gosh uh, me and my friends went out and nobody was like trying to get at us nobody showed interest nobody anything and a guy duetted it or stitched it and he actually said well look what you women have done like this is what you wanted correct so i want to piggyback off of that ladies y'all not all of y'all but you guys wanted this whole oh leave us alone you guys are perverts you guys are weirdos like we hate men thing you guys are on this fucking bandwagon to like you hate men what is the fucking goal of this what is the point of this because you know what you guys are doing you're ruining it for the women who do want to be approached you're ruining it for the women who are shy and do want that guy to come up to them does that make sense and you're also ruining it for the guys who are great guys have great intentions maybe they're just nervous when they come up to you so they're shy and like anxious and you take that as them being a pervert or a weirdo where does this lead up to like i honestly want to know what the whole point of this is because at this point it's going to come to a nobody wants to come up to you no, nobody's going to talk to you nobody's going to try with you and everybody's going to be thinking damn he's not interested in me so ladies you guys wanted men to back down from it so are you guys going to step up to the plate are you guys going to start asking guys out no are you guys going to start going up to dudes and saying hey you know let me take you out to dinner how about you come over to my place at eight o'clock and i'll have dinner made for you what's your favorite food to eat i'll make it for you i highly doubt that's going to happen but my whole point of this is i'm not understanding the whole i hate men movement because in the end what does this do for us especially like if you have kids and you have sons you're teaching your sons to hate men because you hate men i don't get that like can somebody like explain this to me because i really don't get how this is all working on anybody's favor because i feel bad for all the good guys that are out there and then i feel bad for the women who are very shy and want a guy to approach them but now there's guys not approaching them because of women who have ruined this whole little thing what is going on everybody this is your boy man up i'm coming at you with one more video today wow <clears throat> she hit the nail on the head I would have added a few more things in that coming from a guy's perspective because she's right. You tell us to leave you alone. Men are such creeps. Men are such perverts. Well, we're men. Duh. So she was saying that she wanted to get approached by men, but men didn't approach her. And she was wondering why. Then some guy told her, he said, she said that some guy told her, that's what y'all get. Y'all asked us to leave you alone. So we're doing it. That's why men created this group, kind of almost like a feminist female group, but it's men going their own way. Hey, you don't, you don't want us to uh, approach you, so we'll just leave you alone. Fuck it, leave you alone. So I agree with her. You can't have it both ways. You can't tell the man to leave you alone and then talk shit when he don't approach you. Want to say he's scared, want to talk all that noise. I did a video a few months ago about a woman that was talking crap, cursing men out that want, that did not approach her at a gas station. And this lady here, she hit the nail on the head. You telling men to leave you alone, calling men all kinds of names and stuff. So when men leave you alone, now you want to talk shit. You can't have it both ways now. Either you want him to leave you alone or you want him to approach you. What it is. Yeah, you're going to have some guys that approach you in a certain way that you might not feel comfortable with. That's just what it is. It's the same thing with us guys. We're going to have some women that come at us in a certain way that we're not going to like. That's just what it is. You got some good and you got some bad. That's just what it is. And you never know if you don't take that risk. So with that being said, though, my whole ordeal is this. You can't have it both ways. Talk, tell us to leave you alone, call us all kinds of names, and then when we do leave you alone, then you're mad that we ain't approaching, and then you want to talk crap, call us all kinds of names and all kinds. See, these days, lately, I did a thing talking about Brian, the Brian Banks movie. Y'all go check that movie out, Brian Banks. It's, uh, it should be on DVD by now. Well, well, it is on DVD by now. How Brian Banks got, you know, these rape allegations, you know, against him and messed up his NFL career and all that stuff. That's what y'all women are doing to us. So we're starting to say, you know what? We don't know anymore. So we're just saying, fuck it. Leave it alone. Just forget it. Because I can approach a woman and then later on have these false allegations against me, these false rumors against me, 
And this lady said it right. I agree 100% with her. You can't have it both ways, then talk crap. Now, you're messing with the laws of physics. You don't want men to approach you. How do you think you got here? Your dad had to approach your mom. Women, y'all don't want to come talk to us. Y'all want us to do the talking. Y'all want us to approach you. So when a man do approach, hmm, then she's right. Are you going to approach him and, you know, ask him out and take him out on dates and pay for it and all that stuff? No, you're not. Because that's not the way it goes. The man is supposed to do that. So you're not going to do it. So if you don't want to be approached, make it be known that you don't want to. Don't say women don't want to, because now you're putting it in, in our head as a man. Okay, I'm not going to approach any woman then. I'm going to wait for her to approach me. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you got some women that will approach men, and, you know, they will ask a man out, ask him for his number. You, There is. But... For the most part, you know that's not happening. All I'm saying is this here. You can't have it both ways. And this woman is right. You're not gonna you're not gonna do the things that men do. You can't do the things that men do because it's not in your nature. So I don't know what it is that y'all wanting wanting from us. Because y'all send us mixed signals all the time. You want a man to approach you, then talk shit if you don't. Then when a man do approach you, you you saying men are creeps, men are pervert. No, say that man was a pervert. That man was a creep. That man was weird. That man only wanted what's between my legs. Not every man. Because I didn't approach my wife with those kind of intentions. I approached her because I thought she was the sexiest woman I was looking at. <laughs> so I said, hell no, I'm finna go get her. That's what men do. Now you don't want us to be men anymore and you're talking crap. Hmm. <laughs> How does that work? How is this working out for you? Now you're mad. Now you're talking crap. Like I said, I did a video a few months ago about a woman like that. Mad because five guys didn't approach her, this one woman. At a gas station. Hmm. Make that make sense. Like y'all women love to say. Make it make sense. <laughs> anyway. With that being said. This is your boy man up. I'm trying to get a deuce. I'll holler at y'all. And she's like, oh my gosh, uh, me and my friends went out and nobody was like trying to get at us. Nobody showed interest, nobody anything. And a guy duetted it or stitched it and he actually said, well, look what you women have done. Like, this is what you wanted, correct? So I want to piggyback off of that. Ladies, y'all, not all of y'all, but you guys wanted this whole, oh, leave us alone. You guys are perverts. You guys are weirdos. Like, we hate men thing. You guys are on this fucking bandwagon to like, you hate men. What is the fucking goal of this? What is the point of this? Because you know what you guys are doing? You're ruining it for the women who do want to be approached. You're ruining it for the women who are shy and do want that guy to come up to them. Does that make sense? And you're also ruining it for the guys who are great guys, have great intentions. Maybe they're just nervous when they come up to you. So they're shy and like anxious and you take that as them being a pervert or a weirdo. Where does this lead up to? Like, I honestly want to know what the whole point of this is because at this point it's going to come to a... Nobody wants to come up to you. Nobody's going to talk to you. Nobody's going to try with you. And everybody's going to be thinking, damn, he's not interested in me. So ladies, you guys wanted men to back down from it. So are you guys going to step up to the plate? Are you guys going to start asking guys out? No. Are you guys going to start going up to dudes and saying, hey, you know, let me take you out to dinner. How about you come over to my place at eight o'clock and I'll have dinner made for you. What's your favorite food to eat? I'll make it for you. I highly doubt that's going to happen. But my whole point of this is I'm not understanding the whole I hate men movement because in the end, what does this do for us? Especially like if you have kids and you have sons, you're teaching your sons to hate men because you hate men. I don't get that. Like, can somebody like explain this to me? Because I really don't get how this is all working out in anybody's favor. Because I feel bad for all the good guys that are out there. And then I feel bad for the women who are very shy and want a guy to approach them. But now there's guys not approaching them because of women who have ruined this whole little thing.